Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to paint on wine glasses. They are really lovely and you could custom make them. I'm going to show you how you can. They're quick and easy to do and they're waterproof so you can wash them without a problem. I find them really lovely and I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Sorry, it's a little bit long this time, but there's a lot to talk about. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi there, this is Tracy Bowman, Bowman for Art on Facebook, and I'm going to do a swipe, and I'm making it to do my wine glasses. So I'll have to show you how I do that. So I'm just making a painting. I should figure out where my water is going first. This is going to be an ocean looking one. <clears throat> so that'll be my water. Okay, that's my white. And I got my blue. I need my <clears throat> wavy color. So the blue is Deco Art Ice Blue. This is this little piggy it's called Sea Glass. Okay. Then I'm going to use some 14 karat gold by Deco Art. And then I'm going to use a bit of copper just to give it that water is washed up on the shore look. This is um, also Deco Art Extreme, Extreme Sheen. This needs a little thinning. I'm going to use my poly, poly acrylic that I always keep on hand and a dispenser so it is always accessible. Oops, where did I drip? I'll get out of there. <laughs> Piece of dried paint off the bottom of this. Very funny. So I'm just drizzling a little of this here. And 
and then I'm just gonna dot a little of it around. Okay, I'm also gonna put some of this called Bling It, and it's just sparkle. And I love sparkle. <clears throat> and it is by Color Art. It's a pigment, primary elements, and it really does sparkle. Looks like I got more water than I need, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to use a playing card and I'm going to use it with my white cell activator. The playing cards are extra large playing cards. And I use one of those plastic plates, barbecue type plates, outdoor cooking, eating, whatnot. So I'm gonna use one of those and I'm going to open my cell activator, give it a stir. Okay, and I pour it right down on my plate. Don't need too much. <clears throat> I'm gonna make sure my card is flat. Looks like it needs a slight manipulation. Nice flat card. All right, and I'm going to scoop up some of that cell activator. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to swipe right across my paints. I have a paper plate, paper towel to clean off my card. <clears throat> and I want a little bit more there. So I'm going to take a card that I had that was smaller. I'm going to scoop up a little of that paint or the cell activator. And I'm going to just swipe right across here and clean that card off. Okay. And just, ooh, there's a goober in there. I just felt it. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now I'm going to spin. Okay. Interesting. So I'll use this for jewelry and um, my wine glasses. When using the torch, make sure that it's not heating up your plastic so it doesn't melt. Except I really want a little bit more. Let's see what happens. Let's see. 
<laughs> okay, I'll try that. Over here didn't get a lot. So I'm just gonna play and see if I can get more in here than All right, so now I'm going to take that, scoop it up, put it to the side, let that dry, and I'm going to do another quick one. So I make sure that my cardboard is good and flat so it doesn't distort the painting as it dries. Scoop up. on it so I put a tiny bit of paint down as you can see on my spinner that held my piece of plastic down this is a document protector and that keeps it from flying off I'm gonna make another one I'm gonna try to make this one a little thinner than that one it got big I want it smaller in width. I do want it to be long, so I can get a few glasses on there. All right, I'm gonna go one more here. Okay, that's my base paint. And again, I'm gonna go with the blue. Let me see where I'm gonna put my white. sea glass color. gold. Okay, my copper.
Okay, and the bling it. That's probably what made mine a little too thick last time. The extra bit on the bling it, which I really like. So I'm just making it a little sparser this time. Come on, dribble, dribble, dribble. Okay, very good. All right, got my playing card. I'm gonna pop a bubble. I'm gonna scoop up some of that cell activator that I still had on my plate. it off and here we go cleaning off my card all right Okay. All right. It's our waves. paint disappeared. How funny is that? I usually lose the beach, not necessarily the, uh, the water. usually lose the beach. I'm going to see if I can get some of it back. Let's see. Let's see how it goes here.
And that'll be fine. And you will see how we make some beautiful glasses. All right. Let me get my board. Whoops. Let me uh, get the bubbles out. Try not to get the torch on the plastic because it will melt it. down. We'll pick this one up. Okay. So now I have my two together on their board. I will cover them up and let them dry and then we'll see what happens. Hi there, so I'm back and the paint skins that I did are dry and we're going to use it on wine glasses. How pretty is that? Okay, so let me get you down and show you what I got going on here. So I have the skins and one of them that I had done became a little too wide and oh, I, I, I was impatient and I had to touch it and it wasn't dry enough. So I probably won't use that because it won't fit in the wine glasses. So it's important to keep them thin. So you need to think of that because of the space and what it is going to cover. So what we need now is a, a tile and an X-Acto knife. And this stuff here is called Maker's Magic. And it is a waterproof sealer, craft glue, protect and finish your product, and a decoupage medium. And it's waterproof. So it's really terrific. And it will adhere your skin to the bottom of your wine glass and then you after that's dry you coat it again i tried to do it a couple times just so um it, it will be really safe and um it will be terrific on the wine glasses so next thing i do is this peels off it's so it's a document protector it peels right off the document protector easily okay so I'll put that down and I have these lovely wine glasses they got this wave in them which is kind of cool so I thought that would work out really well with uh, this motif now and another thing you really need another thing is important is alcohol wipes but make, look at the ingredients and make sure that there's nothing on it but either purified water and alcohol, nothing else. Okay, sometimes they put a glycerin in it and that's not good because then your things won't adhere because of the glycerin. So we'll uh, do that. So you need to clean the bottom of your wine glass really, really well. And then you need to let it dry for a bit. And I have this random martini glass that I'll do. And then I have these special martini glasses, which are really nice and nice and thin. They're very, very nice. So we'll clean that really well. these make it really fun. Everybody loves their wine and this just makes it really fun. So 
and it's still damp, I can see. So I'm gonna dry it off with a clean paper towel. These other ones will probably dry all on their own, but I didn't wanna wait. So I'm gonna take the wine glass, I'm gonna put it down on the skin where I want it to be. And I hold it firmly and I just cut it out. Let's see if it lifts. It lifts right up and off. Really well. See that? Now I trim and make sure I got it as close as I possibly can be. Nice and clean edge. And there we go. It didn't get really clean here. Cleaning it up there. Okay. All right, so here we have my skin, which is perfect. All right, and that's for that particular wine glass. So now I bring this back, make sure my tile is clean before I put my acrylic skin back down on it. All right, and I'm going to use this one and I'll get close as I can. And I like that. And again, cut it out. can usually feel it when it's really getting a good contact on the tile. This is thicker over here. And there we go. And again, we'll clean it up. And it has a nice ocean effect on the base, if you can see. They stick. Acrylic paint is sticky. So I lift it up, make sure it's good and clean. And that's perfect. And I put that there. Clean off my thing again. And I have this, that one random martini glass. <clears throat> Which one is it? This one. Okay. Cut this one out. Okay. Try 
trim it really good. Nice and clean. Lift it up. There's one spot here that I put my fingernail in the way. Make sure it's just the way I want it. So there we go. Okay. Put away all the little pieces. Then I take my paintbrush. I like this one. <clears throat> then just a little paintbrush. And then I will paint the maker's magic onto it. Just dip my paintbrush in. I make sure that the whole thing is covered really well and I get the edge too so I want it to go all the way to the edge <clears throat> and I just put my skin on try to get it in the middle as much as possible now most glasses have a dip in the middle so you want to you want to get that use a paper towel and scooch it all to the edge get any excess out making sure it's staying on there as well oops you know what oh my god i'm putting it on the wrong way <clears throat> i'm so interested in showing you <laughs> that i'm not paying attention properly so busy talking about what I'm doing and I'm not doing it right. Okay, so again, I'm painting it on. Getting all the way to the edge. Silly me. All right, put my paintbrush down. We'll do it again. So it goes down that way. So it shows up on the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Goofy me. I'm going to get a dryer paper towel. I'm going to scooch it all out from the center. And you can see sometimes there's air pockets in there, so you need to scoot it out. My fingers are a little sticky. over a little bit. Pocket there. I'll lift it slightly so I can put it back down. And there's a pocket there. This maker's magic really works really well. There we go. Squeaky, squeaky. All right. We got it on there good. And you can see how pretty that will be. All right. Okay, and when you look this way, you can see that there's a couple bubbles still. So I just scoot it out. Yes, lovely, really lovely. So we just put that aside to dry. And the directions say that it takes about an hour. So you can let that dry. 
I usually let it go overnight. And then the next day I put um, my own personal label on. I'll put my own sticker on there so you know where you got it. And, uh, and then I paint more of the Maker's Magic on top and I give two coats extra after it's dried. Painting on again. Okay. Now we're putting it face down. <laughs> Where are we? Let me move you over a little bit. So we're putting it face down. Try to get it centered. Sometimes it's like this one has a little bit of a ridge on the edge. So make sure you get that well. And when you're scooching it out, a little bit will dribble out. So you make sure it's good and clean. seeing any bubbles on this side. Oh, it looks terrific. Very, very, very pretty. So we'll let that one dry. This one base was a little bit bigger than the other. So I'm making sure I have plenty on there. Okay, looks terrific. And again, face down. Get right in the middle. Press that center because there's a little dip in the glass there. Scooch it out, get as many air bubbles out as possible, or get them all out. This one has the ridge, so making sure the ridge is good. see any bubbles looks really very very pretty now you can do this with um, any design like I've made a few others now I've made this particular skin now I've already cut out some jewelry out of it and I'm wondering if I could get a couple of martini glasses out of it which would be lovely if I could. Oh, I might be able to just make it. I think I can just make it. I think I can, I think I can. <clears throat> I think that will be terrific. I think I can just make it. I'm gonna put this right here. Let me see if I can get another one here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. There it is, there. Can I get that one there? No, I think I'm gonna to have to find some smaller glasses. But 
like you say, I mean, like you can see, I have random glasses too that I can make them with. And these ones could be smaller. These ones might be smaller. same thing this is not the same thing but it is smaller is this the same one no nope. <laughs> I have a few different kinds this one feels shorter Yep. Okay, that's the ones I'm going to have to do there. So, um, I made jewelry out of this, and I couldn't find anything I really wanted to use. Oh, I still got a piece in here. I got to cut out. Um, so I'll just use the rest for the wine glasses, which will be fun. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll finish these off when they're dry and show you the dried results. Okay, doke? All right, see you soon. Now that I have the stickers down on all my glasses, I repaint Maker's Magic on the whole thing. And I, I, and I get it so it goes to the edge and I, Give a swirl to the edge so it seals it, waterproof seals that, okay? Nope, I dribbled on the glass. I don't want to do that. and all around the edge. Oh, actually, <clears throat> yep, that looks lovely. See how pretty they are? <clears throat> Let me put on this other light. <clears throat> they really are really beautiful. I hope you can see that well. It came out really lovely. Really lovely. All right, I'll show you when they're all done. So here we are, they're all dry. They've turned out really lovely. And I wanna show them to you. So I don't know if you can see them really well, but here's the martini glass with the beach on it. And then these other beautiful glasses, they turned out really lovely. It's quite a nice pair. <clears throat> and then there's these glasses. You can see how pretty they are. There's another wine glass that I had done. Really, really lovely. And the mini, mar mini martinis, you can see. So it's really, really a lot of fun. So I hope you found that this video was helpful. I really enjoy this. It gives me an, an, another thing to sell besides my paintings. You know, sometimes people don't always know what to do with a painting in their house, an extra one. They're
places are usually full. So <clears throat> this way, it uh, gives another way to sell your art. Okie doke. Thanks so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will always answer. All right. Have a great day and happy painting. Now wait to the end. I've got an extra little ditty to show you that happened that you can also do with your leftover skins. Paint that was left over or the skin that was left over, I used to make jewelry. Pieces so that I did not use. it's a win-win with lots of extra things to sell besides just your paintings. Happy mm. painting. Enjoy. I hope you like this Very video. Let me know what do. you think. Thank you.